Hey guys, it's Candy again from candyscraftcorner.blogspot.com. I want to share with you a project that I've been working on. Uh, it actually took me a few days to make. I made a few mistakes watching some YouTube videos again and I got some great ideas for storage. So, one of the people I've been watching is, um, her name is Arlene from Butterfly Kisses 12. I believe that's her channel name. I'll put it in the description bar below. And um, she had these, made these storage binders, and I thought, well, I'd love to have some of those myself. So, <clears throat> pardon me. So I figured I'd give it a try. So here's what I came up with. So I used the flower, floral foliage stack from Recollections, and I made these binders. I used my cinch, I used um, one inch bindings, sorry about the lighting, and uh, the cover I made um, six and a half by twelve, and all the inside pieces are six by twelve. I added all the papers with my ATG gun, and um, inked all the edges with black soot, distress ink. I got this magnetic strip. I bought those from Michaels and I also bought a thicker one from Walmart because I didn't have enough. I know a lot of people just have the one strip on theirs, but um, because I'll show you in a second, I put my spellbinders face to face because I have so many. Um, I wanted to make sure they were sticking on there. Yeah, so. They're not going anywhere. Like, it's on there pretty tight. So I, instead of just the adhesive for the uh, magnetic strip, that's my washer here in the background and dryer, by the way. Uh, my room is right across from the laundry room. So anyway, I attached it with uh, some glossy accents. Boy, that stuff sticks like nobody's business. Yeah, it's awesome. So. Um, I have some more labels coming. I've ordered some more labels, so I left some spaces for that. And I only have this much strip left. Yeah. Yeah, so they go face to face, and there's, I haven't had any trouble. Um, they're not going anywhere. Like, they're stuck really good. My scallop squares regular squares and then there's some like snowflakes kind of and then some labels and then on this side is some mittens and some more winter ones I'm not sure of the name them. and you know I saw others they had um, the names of them written down uh, punched out I haven't done that yet I don't even know if I'm going to um, my biggest priority was just to get them out of the box that they were in and into a binder. So that was one. That was actually the second binder I did. This is the other binder. I haven't decorated the front yet and I don't know if I will because I'm just putting it on my shelf and it'll probably just get wrecked anyway. So again, it's the same floral foliage stack from it's Recollections. Yep, yeah, Recollections. So these are my ovals in here. Scalped ovals, regular ovals, and then goes into the circles, the hearts, uh, beaded, more scallops, more scallops and regulars, and I left a couple of pages room to grow. There. Same thing. I uh, originally I had uh, cut the cover at six, uh, six by twelve, and um, you could see the edges of the other ones because the binding is kind of small. I'm waiting for some new uh, uh, one and a quarter inch bindings to come in from Custom Crops. Yeah. So same thing. Inked all the edges with the black set. Yep. Added all the, and they're like not going anywhere. I'm telling you, it's down not going anywhere okay and then the last one 
is for my other dies. And I got this paper, beautiful paper. I showed it in my haul video previously. Uh, I don't remember the name of it, I'm sorry. Yeah, so what was left of that floral foliage paper, I added to the front and the back cover. And then these are the rest of my dies. They're MFT and, gee, I forget the name of the other ones. But anyway, it's all my other steel dies. Some from Paper Tray Ink, Doohickey die from Magnolia. Um, this is from All That Scraps, Christmas Bulbs. Uh, I think you could build a flower or whatnot. Yeah, and so just added little pieces of the magnet. See so in here. And they stick really well. So this one is the cover I made. This was the original cover for my other, the first binder that I made. So it's six by 12. So all the pages inside are actually five and a half by 12. That way it's, they don't show when, when it's closed. Again, I didn't decorate the front yet because it's just going on the shelf and I really don't want it to get wrecked. But I might just put a label or whatnot seeing what kind of dies are in it. Yeah, so here are all my labels. Got some from, I think those are Pink by Design labels. These, I believe, are paper tray ink. Yep. More label, more dies, excuse me. And those are labeled dies, of course. Trees, little labels, star, and a room to grow. And I only put it on one page, one side of the pages, so I don't have that many. I added that many pages because, you know, we crafters, we gather up a lot of things, so I'm sure I'll be collecting more. Yeah. I love this paper. Okay, so thanks for watching my video today. I'll put the uh, link to Arlene's YouTube channel in the description bar below where I got the idea from. And there's tons of other videos out there too that show um, these uh, spell binders and die, cu uh, die binders out there. Uh, you just gotta, I had, all I typed in was spellbinder storage is what I typed in and there's tons of videos. Yeah, so thanks for watching my video today. Uh, drop by my blog sometime, candyscraftcorner.blogspot.com. I'd love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay, guys. Take care. Bye.